Hello, my name is Tracy Parrish. I'm a graphic designer, and today I'm going to show you how to make ruler guides using Photoshop. We're going to start by setting the preferences for your measurements by selecting Edit, Preferences, Units, and Rulers. As a general rule, when you're designing for print or photos or graphics, you want to use inches. If this was going to be for the web or for video, you would choose pixels. Right now it's set for points, which is another unit of measurement that can be used for print, but most people find it easier to use inches. So we're going to select inches for width and gutter. and select OK. We're going to make a new document. This one's going to be letter size and landscape. Since it's for print, we'll make it CMYK and 300 DPI. There's your new document. If you go up to View, bring down the drop-down menu, and scroll down to Rulers. Now, on the top, and to the left, you'll see this ruler guide in inches. If you want to see where the edge of your document starts, you can grab the corner and drag it. And it sets your corner at zero. It usually does this by default, but if it hasn't, that's how you get there. To make a vertical ruler, you're going to click on the ruler on the top, hold, and drag down. When you let go, we're going to stop over here at three. You'll see a blue guide indicating where you've made your ruler. The same works for horizontal. Click on the ruler, drag to the right. We'll also go to three. We're going to line it up and let go. And there's our horizontal rule. So if we were to make a shape, say I select this rectangle, I can now align my cross, that's my guide cursor, right in between this and make my square so it sits right next to my guide. I can also do this on the other side. Now I have two shapes that line up perfectly. If you want to get rid of your guides, go to View, Show, and Guides. As you can see, they now go away. If you want to see them again, just go back to Show and Guides. And that's how to make ruler guides using Photoshop. 